Hello Z-Bird, welcome back to Pokemon Sword and Shield. Today, we are heading to the Motostoke Stadium and participating in our first ever stadium event. Hopefully, we be we can become the champion, but there's only one way to find out, and that is going through the big doors and getting ready to compete. I'm super excited, but also very nervous. Does anybody have anything new to say? Uh, no. So let's just talk to Hop and get going. Just right away, we're gonna hop right into the auction, aren't we, Hop? I can't wait for the first match. Pretty soon I'll have so many fans, I'll have to fight them off like Lee does. All right. Sometimes I feel like he gets too dazzled by the theatrics of being a great trainer. He forgets about the whole being a great trainer part. Challenger Zebra, wasn't it? We must ask that gym challengers wear their uniforms for all official events. The opening ceremony marks the beginning of the gym challenge. So you know what that means. That's right, I'll need you to get changed as well. Will do. So I guess we're running over into this changing booth and getting into our gear. We chose our favorite number last episode, which was 17, and there it is. Looking good. Wonderful. You look sharp as a pin, and that 17 there, that really is the number for you. Now we're ready at last for the opening ceremony for this year's gym challenge. Okay, so. Here we are, wow, it actually looks like a football field. And everybody is super excited. It's just like the opening cutscene, I love it. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Rose, chairman of the Pokemon League. I know that everyone gathered here and everyone watching from at home have all been waiting for this big moment. It is my pleasure to announce that finally, the Galar Region Gym Challenge will now begin. Yes, the Gym Challenge. Participants must defeat the eight gym leaders and gather the eight gym badges to prove their skills as a trainer. It's very televised this time around. Only the most worthy will have the honor of challenging the greatest champion in history. Which is, now I would like to invite the gym leaders to show themselves. So I guess maybe Leon is the greatest in history? I don't really know. So the gym leaders are coming out now. Not the challengers. We're not battling all eight of them now though. This is like the beginning of the league though, so everybody gets introduced. Oh, that's intimidating. Wow, look at these guys. The fighting farmer, Here, here's the grass type expert, Milo. The Raging Wave, it's the Master of Water Types, Nessa. The Ever-Burning Man of Fire, here comes the Fire Type Veteran, Kabu. The Silent Boy of Mystery, Alistair, friend to the Ghost Types. The Master of Fantastic Theater, it's the Charming Fairy Type User, Opal. The Ice Cold Professional, please welcome the Ice Type Master, Melanie. And last but not least, the Tamer of Dragons, it's Raihan, the top gym leader. Unfortunately, we're missing one, but these are the gym leaders that we in the Galar region are proud to call our own. So this is seven of them. Is the eighth Leon? I don't really know. A little confusing. If he's just a challenger champion, leader, there's a lot of uh, acronyms. Not acronyms, you know what I mean. <laughs> Okay, well, we're here, we're in the big stadium. Are we all challenging them at once? This feels like it's more of a soccer game. Like, did we go to the wrong stadium? How awkward would that be? That'd be really funny. <laughs> Everybody around us is just playing soccer. I was like, wait, I thought it was the Pokemon. What's, what's with soccer? Standing there on the pitch in the stadium in front of everyone? There's really no words for it, but I can barely contain myself. My heart's racing. That's cool. You've made it at last, Hop, and you too, Zebra. So, you, you're two, the two trainers our champion endorsed himself. Welcome, and it's a delight to meet you. I'm Rose, of course. Welcome. Oh wait, did I just, oh, and what's this? I see you've both already possessed Dynamax bands. How wonderful. It seems like you two have been led here by guiding lights of the wishing stars. By the way, it was my wonderful company that invented those Dynamax bands, you know. I dare say this year's gym challenge is looking to be an absolute blast. Very good, very good indeed. That means the whole Gower region is in for some excitement. 
The gym challenge is an excellent opportunity to show off your Dynamax Pokemon. Now, I'm terribly sorry, but there is some urgent business I need to attend to, so I must be on my way. The best of luck to both of you. Okay, well, off we go. The chairman certainly seems to be in high spirits. Now listen closely, you two. You've been both only just started on your path as trainers. If you want to win, you need to do more than just train your Pokemon. You need to train yourselves, too. Let's do it, Zebra. You know the, you know the gym challenge has a set order that you've gotta visit the gyms in, right? The first is in Turfield. Oh, so it's not here. I thought we were battling today. And to get there, we need to head to Route 3. Oh, I'm a bit surprised. The Gym Challenge. The Gym Challenge is an event in which inspiring trainers travel around the Gower region to try to collect gym badges from eight of its gyms. To earn a gym badge, you have to complete that gym's mission and also defeat its gym leader. I, I knew that, but I had thought that it started here today, but I suppose it does not. That was just sort of the introduction to the ceremony. Pass through Route 3 and beyond in order to reach Turfield next. So we're going through Route 3, which is to our left. Sounds cool. Challenger Zebra, the chairman asked me to deliver this gift to you. He was he was right here a minute ago. He couldn't have just handed it to me? A gift, such a wonderful thing from the chairman, such a wonderful man. <clears throat> Excuse me, the gift is access to the flying taxis. What? <laughs> they allow you to, in a word, fly. Calling a flying taxi will allow you to travel quickly back to the areas you've already visited. Oh, is this like with the, uh, the Corviknight? If you use the flying taxi service, one of their well-trained Corviknight will have you zipping across the Gower region to your desired destination in no time at all. Just open up the X menu and use the town map to choose where you want to go. If it's all right with you, I'll read a segment from the flying taxi user's manual. <clears throat> Press the X button and select the town map option to choose the place you'd like to go to. Anyway, your next goal should be Turfield, isn't that right, Zebra? When traveling to a new place, it's best uh, to get there on your own two legs, don't you think? I believe so. I mean, I think for most of the game, I will be doing that. Go Gym Challenger, looking forward to it. Do your best. I'm cheering for you. These guys are so nice. Yeah, so cool. Uh, go, go all the way. Just keep going. All right, I'm going. <laughs> I won't turn back. That's so cool. So I guess, yeah, we'll head to the left for real this time. We sort of poked around here a little bit last episode, but there's still more to poke around with. I know that down this way, uh, if we go down here, I don't know what's down this way. So it's a little bit of a mystery to me. I would like to see. Oh, there's a yellow Pokeball. I saw that then, there was also a person. This is cool. Uh, can I talk to you? I sense great potential as a trainer in you, but it's still a bit early. Please come back when you become the champion. All right. You found TMO2 Payday. Cool. Uh, numerous coins are hurled at the target to inflict damage. Money is earned after the battle. Cool. <laughs> So I gotta remember to talk to that guy after I become champion. That's a while from now, I can only imagine. Got a long journey to go, but I'll try to remember. I'll probably forget. Okay, so let's let's uh, run to the left. I think I've talked to you, but we'll double check. Don't you wish people could use Pokemon? Yeah, 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 okay, yeah. Uh, but, what's down this way? There's two ladies. Some people say they like Pokemon because of how strong they are, but I think that their cuteness is part of their appeal too, of course. The gym challenge is a journey, you know. You travel throughout the region together with your Pokemon. Remember, if you were able to take the first step, the second step is never quite as hard, that is for sure. That's a big lesson through life. One step at a time, we found a Poke doll. Very cool. And what else? Help all the people hanging out. I do my best every day and cheer on my favorite gym leaders. You really don't get tired of doing the things you love. That's for sure. Always gotta keep chasing that dream. Once I get my new hairstyle, I'm gonna stop by the Rotomi at the Pokemon Center to update my league card. Or you can just do it right at the at the place now. Oh, look, it's like Hopscotch. <laughs> I'm playing Hopscotch with my why not and my younger sister. You know Hopscotch? You have to jump your way through the court. Yep, I know what Hopscotch is. Uh, we can play with our Pokemon here. Cute. And does this like loop all the way back around? No, what is this place? Pokemon need PP or power points to perform moves. Indeed, so if you run out of PP, you can't use that move anymore. People can change whenever they want. They just need to want to change. Maybe this old man can make a change too. I don't know why he just had this revelation, but good on ya. Uh, it's time, it's fine and dandy to have battles in the city, but you need to make sure you don't get in anyone's way. Okay, cooking while camping is just fantastic. 
I agree. So what is this place? I have no clue, it's like a little diner area. All that cheering has got me famished. It's hard to resist a good meal after using all that energy. Is good food important? Is quick service or cheap prices? Saying you want them all is being greedy. I agree, I think that good food is the most important. And then after that, you know, a fair price, I can understand, you know, paying for what it's worth. And then like, I mean, you don't want to take too long, of course, but like I can understand that being sort of a further back priority. Now, this is the Marco Cosmos Rail customer service counter. All right, can you service me? No? Trains just keep running on the rails. Some people say li living life without going off the rails is boring, but I think uh, keeping things on track deserves more credit too. All righty then, so what about you? Welcome to the Pokemart, may I help you? Yeah, I wanna see what you have to sell. So you just have the normal stuff, that's fine. No thank you. Oh, and there's a vending machine. It's a vending machine, what kind do you want? Let's get one of each, so we have a fresh water. Thank you. Fresh water came out. And, oh, did I just buy another, whoops, okay, I'll buy something else. Uh, buy something else. Soda pop, I don't know if I'll need these, but if we ever run into somebody who does need them, we can give it to them. Okay, so lemonade. And nothing. All right, let's talk to you. Chairman Rose is involved in all sorts of business endeavors and they're all for the sake of the Gower region. Yes, they are. Can I go this way? Uh, which station do you wanna go to? Oh, okay, so I can't talk to the people over there. So I don't need to do any of that. It's just another train station. Pretty cool though that I was able to explore all that. Now that we have, we're actually gonna go and leave and move forward to Route 3. Super looking forward to it. This game's a lot of fun to explore so far. Talking to everybody, learning what the, the world has to offer. Always my favorite thing for Pokemon games like this and it's been great for this one. There you are, I've been waiting. Let's have a battle, you and me. We'll get in a bit of training. But why? <laughs> I just wanna see what he says. Seriously? This is the moment when you play along and I pump up for the battle. Uh, if you've gotta ask why we should bother training, you'll never make it through the gym challenge. Wait, do I not to get the battle him? I wanna battle him, I just wanted to question him. <laughs> there you are, okay. <laughs> he just sends me away, all right. <laughs> Take two, got it. I knew you'd be up for it. We've gotta stay keener than anyone else if we wanna steal the spotlight from our rivals. All right. You were challenged by Pokemon Trainer Hop. Well, let's see what you got, buddy, from the last time I challenged you. Not too much has happened. You know, we've gone through the route and everything. Go on, Dot, I know you can do it. So, keep up, mate. This is our chance to see if we are up to the gym challenge. Okay, fight. Yeah, we'll do the double kick, because that's super effective against normal types. Oh. Do it again. Nice. Okay, not too bad. It's super effective. Pokemon was hit two times. Typical, should have known you'd, you'd master type matchups. So what's next for you? Uh, we got experience for ourselves. Wow, quite a lot of experience. Wulu and Dotler got some level ups, which is cool. And, oh wait, what, what do you wanna learn? Guard split, this is for Wulu. The user employs a psychic power to average its defense and special defense stats with those of the target. I think that'd be better than Growl, which is the user growls in an endearing way, making the opposing Pokemon less wary. This lowers their attack stats. Uh, or Copycat, the user mimics a move used immediately before it. The move fails if no other move has been used yet. That seems interesting though. Maybe I'll just make it a very weird Pokemon with no tackle. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how much I'm gonna be using Wulu. I haven't decided yet. It's just in my party to level it up in the meantime while I'm still deciding. Uh, Dotler go to level 12 as well, but didn't get any moves. Uh, sending out Grookey, I will keep with Dot for now for the type advantage. I wanna keep leveling up uh, Jazzy and Biggie though. So let's fight. I only use, of course, Ember. I don't think it'll be a one-hit takedown like it was for that Wulu, but it'll be pretty far down there. And you're just gonna use Scratch. I mean, you scratched me with a stick. I don't, I don't think that's a normal scratch move, but okay. Let's do it again. There it is. Super effective indeed. All right, so we gained some experience points. Wow, three more level ups, so a level for Dot, and a level up for Biggie, and a level up for Rookity. <laughs> Very cool. About to send out Rookity, okay. Uh, so we will switch Pokemon. This time we'll, we'll move into Jazzy, who's electric type, so it should be good against Rookity. 
I can only help. Okay, Jazzy. Backed into a corner. You got it all wrong, mate. This is just, this will just make my victory something. I didn't get to read that. <laughs> okay, so actually they're equal level, I think. Yes, so this should actually be good. Oh, we do have bite, yeah, for Jazzy now. So you're gonna use Peck. I can't wait to see, what is it, Yamper? The type of Pokemon Jazzy is. Can't wait to see your evolution specifically, because I don't know if he's gonna turn into like a, a cuter dog or a, a stronger, bigger dog, or just, I don't know. I think they could go so many directions with it, right? Because I've had a lot of like big, mean looking dog Pokemon, right? At least they've had one or two. You know, they've had Growlithe and they've had uh, something Dark Hound or something. It's like a, a dog. <laughs> what do you know? Uh, so I, I don't know what direction they're going to end up going with this one, but this uh, Rookie D is definitely paralyzed. They still get to attack, though. Doesn't do much damage. But now we can use uh, the Bite, and that should be fine. Oh, you're using a potion? Oh, bad timing. <laughs> Thought I had you finish. But let's see if this does much more damage or not. Eh, it might just be better to use a Nuzzle. Okay, go ahead and use your Leer. There we go. And they're gonna get taken out. Almost, almost. I was hoping maybe we could land a critical. I had a good feeling about it, but not really. Didn't work out that way. Come on, come on, come on, there it is. That took a while. Rookity held on tight there. That was like your secret weapon. <laughs> okay, so that's definitely a level up for Jazzy. Super excited to see that. Hopefully we can get some more damaging electric moves sooner or later for Jazzy. Was that really good training? Uh, looks like I'd better keep up my guard. All right, so $1,000 for winning that one as well. Very good. Wow! <laughs> look at this, that's gonna evolve. Oh my gosh, I'm just excited. I don't know what this is gonna look like. I have honestly no clue. Oh my gosh, you have overalls. You are adorable. <laughs> Congratulations, you dot evolved into a Raboot. I love Raboot. That was so cool. All right, Raboot's data will be added to the Pokedex. She looks so annoyed, just like Dot does all the time. It kicks berries right off the branches of trees and then juggles them with its feet, practicing its footwork. Oh, that is wonderful, I'm so happy. So happy. Just what I'd expect from my rival. You know what, I'll even give you one of my league cards. That's how good I think you did in that battle. So do we collect these, Hop's league card, maybe? Our gym challenge starts right now, from here in Motostoke. Although the first gym leader we'll have to challenge is in, is in a town far off from here. So you'd better believe I'm going to catch, to keep on winning my way to that championship match. Hello, Gower, meet your next champion from the sleepy town of Postwick. It's me, Hop! I just imagine he's screaming that as he's running. <laughs> okay, so let's actually leave uh, Motosoak now. I loved it. But I can't wait to see what else is you know coming up. If your precious Pokemon get injured, don't forget to heal them up with a potion. And you need antidotes to fix a poison. Just remember to stock up on items and you won't have to visit Pokemon Center so often. I have, just for that very much reason. Oh, look at this, we were just talking about Growlithe earlier. And here you are, Growlithe. Very exciting. Of course, this is a Pokemon that's in the original game, so we caught him in uh, Let's Go Pikachu. Uh, we'll just do, oh my gosh. First off, Dot looks so cool. There we go. The double kick seems to be working pretty well. I think I might just do a uh, quick attack next time. The Ember won't do much, of course, which is a good opportunity for us. So let's fight and just do a quick, quick attack. And hopefully that's not enough. Oh, that is enough to take you out, darn. Not what I wanted. Hopefully we run into another one soon. Well, at the least we get experience for it. So we didn't really, you know, lose out on that. Oh, oh, here's another zigzagoon. I want you. Okay, so what level are you? You're so zebratastic, I love it. Fight and oh, this is super effective. I might not want to do that then. Because I don't want to immediately take you out, because that's not gonna be very helpful, is it? So Ember for now gets you pretty low. And then you do a snarl, which hurt. 
What level are these Pokemon? Because we're level 16, they're level 13. Let's try again. Hopefully that's enough. They're definitely doing a number on us right now. So, throw out the Pokeball, we have 17 of them. Come on now. I messed up the first time I ran into a Zigzagoon. Not this time. Yes! All right, Zigzagoon was caught. And our Pokemon gained experience, very nice. So our his data will be added to the Pokedex. It is the Galarian form of Zigzagoon, the tiny raccoon Pokemon. Uh, thought to be the oldest form of Zigzagoon, it moves in zigzags and wreaks havoc upon its surroundings. And our Pokedex was updated, excellent. Great job on filling your Pokedex. So I guess it just sort of has like different tiers to it. There are still a lot of Pokemon that you haven't caught. Let's catch more Pokemon, I would love to. Uh, would you like to give Zigzagoon, Zigzagoon, blah, blah, you know what I mean, a nickname? Not right now. Um, I'll send you a box for now. I don't think I'm gonna use the Zigzagoon, but I did wanna check something. First off, there's a new Pokemon over there we haven't caught. That was the recommended Pokemon I should catch. I guess when I do that, there's a new recommendation. And once I do that, maybe there's like an upgrade, so that was cool. So what is this Pokemon over here? Oh, hi Growlithe. Okay, let's take you on. You encountered a wild Growlithe. Let's go for take two. So you're gonna use Intimidate. That's not always the best situation, but I'll make the most of it. So let's double kick. Oh wow, you're tougher than the other one. For sure. You're level 14 instead of like level 13, I guess. Whoa, whoa, that's a cool looking move. I love that. I have to be worried about that. I mean, we're also fire type, so it doesn't hurt us too much. Okay, so I don't know if I should risk using it again. I think that if we use quick attack, we'll be okay though. I mean, I could just try throwing the Pokeball now, but that could be a risk. I guess it's one I'm willing to take. Come on now. Oh. Yes, Growlithe has been caught. Cool. So we should all gain some experience. Level up for Dotler down that way. And this is Growlithe, of course, the puppy Pokemon. Uh, extremely loyal, it will fearlessly bark at any opponent to protect its own trainer from harm. And the Pokedex has been updated, excellent. So that really is what it says there. Uh, so we just gotta keep going with those recommendations. Now it's a, sn a Stuffle, which we tried to catch last episode and would not let me. It just like, he just was not having it. Um, no, 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 I wanna just put you in a box for now. Okay, so has been sent to the box and we are going to try to catch wherever this Pokemon is now. This one's new. Oh wow, you're so pretty. This is Gossifleur. Oh, I think I remember you from one of the videos. Okay, so let's fight you. Um, I'm going to do double kick because I don't want to get rid of you immediately. That doesn't do too much damage. Cotton down. Speed fell. Okay. It's a critical hit, but it's not not effective. So that's good to know. So our speed fell again. You're gonna use Sing. Oh, don't put. Oh, nice. Good job dod dodging that attack. We're gonna go for you again with another double kick. Not bad. Ah, not good. There we go. So our speed fell once more. But I think that, oh, rapid spin, what is this? Ouch. <laughs> Doesn't do too much. The wild goes for speed rose. Let's throw the Pokeball. It should definitely get Dot a level up. I can't believe Dot evolved in today's episode, though. I'm so happy about that. So come on, come on. Got it, another new Pokemon. So let's see what we get for this one. We get to level 17 with Dot, level 15 with uh, Rookie D, and level 13 with Wooloo, not bad. And nothing really specific, just level ups. But hey, a new Pokemon for the Pokedex. This is Gossifleur, the flowering Pokemon. It is a grass type. Uh, it whirls around in the wind while singing a joyous song. This delightful display has charmed many into raising this Pokemon. That is adorable. Um, I will not give it a nickname, 
but I wouldn't mind considering it for our party. But who would I want to put it over? I'm thinking Dotler. Because I just don't see myself using Dotler. So I'm gonna just do this and see how it goes. Uh, Growlithe is chasing me down now. Oh, hi, trainer. This is sort of bad timing, but we'll go for it. You saw the opening ceremony, right? Then you know why I'm excited and want to battle. Well, if you can beat me, maybe you have a chance. Uh, last Ray. Let's see what kind of Pokemon she has. She's sending out Vulpix. Cool. Well, I have a fire type, so I don't know if that's gonna work out too well, because I think Vulpix is also fire normal, right? Well, if it's fire normal, then double kick will work just fine. Let's find out. Oh, pretty damaging for one kick. Oh, not bad at all. Critical hit. Hit two times, but not super effective. Ouch. <laughs> not very effective at all. So if we fight again, double kick again. Nice. Okay, so there's that one done. And now we're level 14 for both Jazzy and Biggie. They're growing up so fast. And last Ray has been defeated. I lost, but I'm still excited. You should be. Doesn't mean that your career's over or nothing. You just gotta keep working. Should make you more excited just to continue conquering things. I'm gonna participate in the gym challenge next year. I believe in you, I'll be waiting for you. Is this a skunk Pokemon? Oh my gosh. <laughs> that's Smokey, that's Smokey. I've got Smokey now, that's, that's our new Pokemon. All right, let's fight. Uh, let's do double kick. I'm pretty sure that's the next Pokemon we got. <laughs> okay. Almost, landed two times. And ouch. Fight again, and quick attack. Oh wow, whoa, whoa, whoa. He's using faint attack, gotta be careful. Da's not doing so well. So, oh no, Stunky! <laughs> No, Dad! Oh, everything's been awful! Of course, Stunky, who I would want to catch and name after Smokey would get the last laugh like that. We are getting him at some point, and I'm gonna name Smokey after him, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Maybe I'll change my mind down the line, who knows. But now I gotta run back and heal up Dot. Oh, that's such a mess. Oh, well, luckily running back, I found an item, a big mushroom. A very large and rare mushroom. It's popular with a certain class of collectors, ooh. Well, if I ever run into them, maybe I'll be able to give them a gift. So let's see if there's anything new. There's another Zigzagoon. you to be very careful. Oh, run, run. <laughs> they caught me, so I was just trying to get out of the three heal balls. That's cool. Ah, scary, scary. Oh, is this another trainer? She has a little Pokeball, so I guess so. I've been studying foreign languages, computers, and Pokemon. Oh, you got a lot on your plate. Hope everything's going on well with your studying. This is school girl, girl Hannah. Cool. School girl Hannah sent out Panchum. Oh, you are so cute. I love you. <laughs> okay. So let's fight and we'll try Ember against Panchum here. I don't know what type of Pokemon Panchum is. Not bad. Circle throw. Oh, are you a fighting type or a fire type? I don't know. Whoa. Goodbye. Oh, new Pokemon time. I guess it's Rookity. Let's fight. And I guess what do you pick? Or pack, I mean. And you're gonna do circle throw again. You just don't wanna deal with any of my Pokemon, do you? All right, well it's not very effective, but it does send them flying. And we got Wooloo now. Fight and, oh yeah. Uh, I don't know if this is gonna work. We'll do guard split. What does guard split do again? I don't know. Yeah, okay, you're just gonna throw him out anyways. Sorry, Wooloo. Whoa, super effective. Yeah, because it's a fighting type new move, I can only assume. And we're back to Rookity. All right, then, peck you again. We should be able to get you with this. <laughs> Very silly battle going on. And that was super effective. His flying is super effective against fighting. All right. And we defeated Schoolgirl Hannah. What, I lost? My Pokemon Savvy wasn't enough? Well, it might just be that I also have Pokemon Savvy. I should find even more about, or yeah, I should find even more about Pokemon to like. That way, I'll learn more about them. Like how if you lower their HP, they get easier to catch. Yep, I already know all about it. Been using that strategy quite a lot. 
Oh, I ran into somebody. Is it the Gossifor? Whoa, no, it's Clink. All right, we're taking on Clink. Don't know what type of Pokemon this really is, but I think if it's Steel, wouldn't fighting be good against Steel? Maybe not. Ooh, ooh, not bad. Oh, it is super effective. Hit two times, and they're gonna use Vice Grip. Oh, watch it! No, Dot! Well, that didn't do much. Uh, so let's use a Pokeball. And let's see if we get you. I sure hope so. Yeah, look at that. Clink was caught. Okay, so your Pokemon gained experience points. Very nice to see. And we caught Clink, which is sort of two Pokemon. It's a gear Pokemon, steel type. It's suspected that Clink were the inspiration behind ancient people's inventions of the first gears. All right, cool. I don't think I'm going to uh, have that in my party, but it's very cool to see a new Pokemon. I don't know if that's a new one or not. Oh, I didn't mean to run into Gossifor like that, but hey, that's fine. You encounter the wild Gossifleur. Go on down, I know you can do it. Might as well just use a fire move against you. So see, see me, seeing how we've already caught one of you, let's do it. Dot used Ember. Nice, look at that. Almost enough to fully take you down. They're going to use Rapid Spin, which really doesn't do too much. But ups their speed. Won't matter too much if I've gotten you defeated right here. Okay, so a critical hit too. I could have used that the first time. So you're going to faint, and look at that, everything fills up nice and good. So what is going to be over here to the left? Uh, trainer tips, you can set up camp on routes and your Pokemon can earn experience from camping. Uh, try visiting other people's camps too when you find tents along your way. Can I do that here? You found a burn heal. Is there a way to set up temp tents here? Pokemon camp. Well, would you look at that? We can, that's so cute. Hold on, Pokemon Camp. In your Pokemon Camp, you and your Pokemon can play together and even eat together, growing closer through the experience. If your Pokemon can, if your, if your Pokemon grow very close to you, they may even try extra hard for you during battle. You can play using the Joy-Con too. If you slide your Joy-Con off your system, you can wave one about to throw a ball for your Pokemon to retrieve or wave a Poke toy for their delight. If you waggle the Poke toy, you might even notice Pokemon hanging out farther back in your camp to come play. Oh really? That's cute. Uh, when you set up camp in the wild area, you'll be able to play with up to three other trainers at a time. All kinds of people and Pokemon might stumble upon your camp, even those you've never met before, so get to know them as you play together. All right, well hi guys. How are you? We got this Pokemon we've caught some of our, uh, they're all on our team. They'll come over. Hi. Hello, Jazzy. You want a toy? Here we go. Uh, I can zoom in. You want it? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> you want it? Oh, oh gosh. Uh, let's change toys. Ready? Yep. Go get it. Go fetch. Oh, oh, Biggie's cutting you off. That is such a Biggie thing to do. <laughs> Jazzy doesn't even realize. Thank you, Biggie. You're such a good boy. And throw it again. That didn't go very far. Who's gonna get it this time? It's gonna be Biggie again. He's such a toy hog. He sort of ran the long way around. <laughs> I wanna throw it to some of these guys if I can. Good job. Uh, Come on, ready? Will Wooloo get it? No, nope, it's gonna be Jazzy. Good job, Jazzy, good job. All right, well thank you very much. I think we'll leave it at that. Uh, would you like to quit camping? If there's nothing more I can do. Oh no, I can cook. Cooking at camp. Cooking up a fine curry while out camping by selecting ing ingredients and berries of your liking. Your curries will get more delicious if you choose to do things like using rare ingredients or adding lots of berries too. Once you start cooking, fan the flames of your of, with your fan to keep things hot enough and stir things up with your ladle to keep them moving. Only don't go overboard. You don't want to spill. The last step will be to add a bit of soul into it at just the right timing and you'll have made a masterpiece for your Pokemon to enjoy. 
After you finish cooking, it'll be time for everyone to dig in together. Eating a tasty curry can have a, a number of effects on the Pokemon that are at your camp, including restoring their HP and making them feel more friendly towards you. Well, that would be great. Uh, let's start cooking. Sure, why not? So we have different berries and stuff. We have a lot of orange berries. So let's use like three of these. I only use like one cherry berry. That sounds good to me. Uh, now what? Do I have to keep adding? No, oh, I'm ready. Here we go. Would you like to start cooking with your current berry selection? Sure. Why not? All those berries go in, and now we start. So what do we do? Fan the flames. Fan them. Fan them. This is like cooking mama or something. <laughs> I like it. Maybe I should just do A. Maybe I gotta do both? Okay, did we do it? And just keep going. There we go. Now we got a good rhythm going on. Okay, now what? Uh, give it a good stirring. Okay, let's do it without the motion controls. Oh, that's way better. Way better. Okay. How much more do we have to stir? I want this to be a good curry. I don't really know what curry tastes like. Uh, put your heart into it. Was that correct? What was I supposed to do there? Um. Done, yeah! Who wants curry? Everybody come on in. It's my first time cooking it. Spicy curry. Hope you like it. Oh, oh. <laughs> Did you eat some too? Ah, delicious. You are so cute. Rate, taste rating, Wobbuffet class. New spicy curry, is that good? That's two stars. Your Pokemon's HP was restored by half. Your Pokemon gained a few experience points. Dot and the rest of your party got friendly towards you. Well, that was fun. Uh, I would like to quit camping for now. We had some good times with that. Um, and, oh, they got experience too. That's great. So now that we've done that, I want to try to avoid these guys because I've battled most of them. I do see a trainer though. Yep, hey. Oh, instead of a Pokemon, I found a trainer. I'll have to check out how strong you are. Let's go. This is Schoolboy Marvin. Schoolboy Boy Marvin sent out Boodoo. Boodoo, Boodoo? I never know how to pronounce that. So we should be pretty good with Dot here using the fire type move, Ember, just to burn you down a little bit. I don't know how higher level advantages. Oh, uh, good enough to almost one hit you. They're gonna use Absorb, so they'll get some of their health back, but very, very little of it. Like one or two HP. Okay, Ember again. We got you. I think this is your only Pokemon too, so you're in big trouble, buddy. All right, well, there's Boodoo Don done. Uh, oh, and two level ups. Level 18 for Dot, level 14 for Wooloo. Oh no, you have another one, Gossip Floor. I'm going to keep my current Pokemon. I'm sorry I'm not using different types of Pokemon. I will in time, I promise. As the game gets more difficult and the wider range of Pokemon become available, it'll be necessary for us to start using different Pokemon. But for right now, if fire is just like the main advantage I have over most things, which it is, against all these grass types that we keep running into, it might as well be what I do. I only get a level up for Rookity. That's great. Jazzy and Biggie are almost at a level up. Uh, Rookity wants to learn Pluck. Uh, let's see what Pluck is. Pluck is a flying type move. The user picks up the target. If the target is holding a berry, the user eats it and gains the effect. Oh, cool. So we'll put that over this Fury Attack. I don't think we need that. Alrighty. One, two, and ta-da! Rookie D forgot Fury Attack, and it learned Pluck instead. And we defeated Schoolboy Marvin. Yowch, your Pokemon are way too strong. Well, for now, if you keep training, maybe not. Losing is really painful, so I'll raise my partner Pokemon too. Definitely do that. And hi, how have you been doing? Hey, a gym challenger. You looked real ace out there during the opening ceremony. Well, thank you. Oh, but where's Hop? Uh, he went on ahead. Can't sit still at all, Kenny. Guess he really wants to catch up to his brother. Oh, I know. Let me tell you about something a bit interesting. You see that building over there? It's a company owned by Chairman Rose. Just past Route 3, there's a mine where they dig up ore. That building over there processes it into energy. In other words, the chairman's responsible for providing the Gower region with its energy too. Seems like an important guy. 
Can't say I really get him, but the chairman seems like a pretty, pretty brilliant guy, right? Here, a little something for having a chin wag with me. It's an escape rope. Uh, thanks. You obtained an escape rope. You put the escape rope in your bag's key item pocket. A long and durable rope, use it to escape instantly from locations like caves or dungeons. It can be used any number of times. That's different, usually it's like a limited thing you have to buy multiple of. I'll heal, heal up your Pokemon too, thank you. Okay, you're great. Uh, the way to turf field is pretty long, but that's a kind of challenge in its own right. Good luck, Gym Challenger. Well, thank you. I appreciate the good luck wishes. And here we are, back on the road again. I see something here. We found a revive. Glad we're finding all these extra items. Ooh. What are these guys? I don't know what's good against. Well, fighting is good against rock. Just like, that is a really good Pokemon right now. This looks like a rock type. It's Raleigh Kali. I don't know what this is. I've never seen this before. It's level 11, so I don't want to go too crazy on it, right? I don't want to double kick it and then just get immediately knocked out, because we have a seven level lead. So let's just do quick attack for now. That's okay, it's not very effective. Ow. We'll keep doing the quick attack, though. It just seems like it's the best option. Oh, almost down. If we do that one more time. Smackdown, woo! Yikes! Not good, it was super effective. Yeah, because ground is good against fire. We need a water type for sure. We just haven't found too many water type Pokemons except for the one turtle. Maybe I should put him in my party. I probably should for now, just in case we run into uh, more problems with that. Sorry, I'm very congested right now. I'm trying not to come across as congested while I still am, which is a difficult balance to make. Anyways, let's catch a Raleigh Collie. Come on. Nice, another Pokemon for our collection. Raleigh Collie. Your Pokemon gain experience points. Oh, almost a level up for Biggie. Can't wait to get that. So let's learn more about Raleigh Collie. Uh, coal Pokemon, rock type. It can race around like a unicycle, even on rough, rocky terrain. Burning coal sustains it. Interesting. Uh, so I'm gonna send you to a box. And let's keep moving. Okay, oh, be careful. What's this way? This way should actually, well, there's a trainer to battle. Definitely wanna battle you. Were you thinking of passing through without even looking at my Pokemon? I literally walked up to talk to you, lady. It's a schoolgirl, Kaylee. Hope I pronounced that right. So now Purloin. Oh, you're new and adorable. All right, well, what type of Pokemon is Purloin? I don't think it's going to tell me, so we'll just have to fight you. Actually, if you're dark, this won't do so well. Wow! That was pretty good! Is that super effective or what? Maybe I got them mixed up though. It's super effective. Maybe fighting is good against Stark? I don't think so though. Uh, so we gain experience points. Jazzy and Biggie get a level up. Fantastic. And Jazzy wants to learn the move Roar. We're getting on move. Let's see what Roar is. Roar is a normal type move. The target is scared off in a different Pokemon. Oh, okay, I don't really need that. Uh, Yep, did not learn Roar. Biggie grows level 15, but doesn't want to learn any moves. S send out Squovit. So let's keep battling, because Squovit's a normal type. We can use our fighting moves. Okay, so fight, double kick is super effective. We already know that. And got it. Very cool. Super effective, hit two times, and does that mean we win? Uh, your Pokemon gain experience, almost a level up for the Gossip Floor. And you've been defeated. Win or lose, I don't mind, I just wanted to show off my Pokemon. Okay, well, we got to see them. They were great Pokemon, good job with catching them. If we're talking who's pouring more love into the Pokemon, I'm clearly the winner, I don't know about that. I love my Pokemon very much. It's a berry tree, do you wanna shake it? Yes, I do. Well, let's just keep shaking this until there's no more berries left. Three berries on the ground. Six berries on the ground. Can something, I have a feeling like something can swoop by and take it all, you know? So I, like, I wanna be careful. How many berries on the floor? 10, shake it more. 13 berries on the ground, shake it more. Oh, oh no, we got in trouble. It's a Squovid. <laughs> Which, yeah, of course the Squovid eat berries. But do I get to keep the berries? Who knows? 
So that's why you gotta be careful. We'll just go ahead and once again do the double kick real quick just to get this out of here. One and two. Okay. And it's definitely a level up for Gossip Floor, which is awesome, level 15 for you. But, ah, oh, see, I knew it. But we picked up the berries that fell from the tree. So we only got four of them. One, L, four, three, one. So we got eight in total. That's not too bad. And there is CM37 beat up, which is, oh yeah, I think we already had a Pokemon who had this. The user gets all the party Pokemon to attack the target. The, the more party Pokemon, the greater the number of attacks. That's interesting, for sure. Uh, for right now, though, there's more of these Rolly Colies, or whatever they are. And then there's also you. You're like a postman trainer. I'll show you what I carry. Letters in victory. We'll see about that. We're going against Postman Tad. I like that name. Pretty cool. Deli Bird. Ooh. Oh, wow. So are you a fire type? No, I don't think so. You're red like, like, a, like Santa Claus. Interesting. Let's try Ember. Are you like an ice type? Oh, oh, you might be. Super effective. Interesting, I don't know if I've seen that Pokemon before. All right, plenty more experience for everybody. And we defeated Postman's Tad. Turns out I was carrying your victory. <laughs> I like it, funny pun. All right, letters filled with thoughts and emotions. One must carry them gently. And here you are battling people and jumping around. <laughs> Anyways. If you want to heal up your Pokemon, there's nothing like setting up your camp and cooking them a good meal. Here, you can add this berry to the pot. Thanks. She had to give me a cherry berry, which uh, is very useful. If you ever come across a tent, check it out to join the camp of whoever set it up. If you'd like, you're welcome to visit my camp too. It's the one right here. Oh, I definitely want to. We found Becca's Pokemon camp. Would you like to pay them a visit? Yes. So we already camped out before, but now we can see somebody else's camp and see what kind of Pokemon they have. Call Pokemon, hey guys. So they have a Vulpix, an Oddish. Ah, oh, one of these that we tried to catch last episode. That's cool. I can take out a toy. Hey guys, hey. I don't know why I'm making your Pokemon so happy. I should be doing this for my Pokemon. Why do you tackle me when I do that? Maybe they get annoyed. Ow. Is that like a good thing? It doesn't sound very good. Uh, Hold on, can I speak with them? Pixie looks like it wants to play with a Poke toy. Let's chat. Go play. Okay, uh, can I chat with you? Stuffers looks like it's enjoying camping. It's interesting that she named the Pokemon. Never mind. Uh, can I call you over? I wanna see what, what what she named her other Pokemon too, like you, little Oddish. Come on, yeah, you, you. I wanna talk to you. Hi. Oddball seems to be worried about its surroundings. That is so cute. Go play. And I think that's about it. I mean, there's our our Pokemon are hanging out too. Okay, let's head out of here. We'll leave Becca's camp. Thank you for the fun. I appreciate it. And we're good to continue down Route 3. There's a lot to do here. Every Pokemon's got a type or two, and every type has a strong points and weak points. That is for sure. You're challenged by Schoolboy Peter. And you said not Sizzlepeed. <laughs> oh, weird. It's like a... A millipede, are they called, I think? Um, and he's sizzling like a, looks like a piece of bacon or something. Okay, so that's gonna be a fire type. Like This is why it's really useful to have a water type. Or a ground type or something. Oh, that does not do much. Not at all, not very effective. Well, you're probably a bug fire, if I had to guess. Ouch, yeah, let's switch Dot out. Pokemon, I'm gonna try Rook E for now and we'll see if it's a bug type. Flying should be good against him. Because birds eat bugs all the time. I think that's the idea. He needs wrap. I've not seen wrap before, oh no. Oh yikes. Wrap by the, okay. Again, so I can't move? Is that the idea? Uh, fight, and we'll do, which one is more damaging? This one, pluck. Oh, there we go. That's gonna be super effective. Sizzlipede fainted. See ya. And almost a level up for Dot. Very, very close. Dotler. Okay, so I should keep with what I have because Dotler I definitely know because I've caught one or evolved one. 
uh, is a bug type, so we can do that same pluck move. Boom. Very nice. Not enough to take you out all the way, but Dower used Confusion. Let's hope it doesn't work. Oh, it worked. So we just gotta hope we can make this, you know, continue. I'm not sure though. Oh, it looked like that one dark move was super effective as well. Rookity is confused, but we were still able to use Pluck. Awesome. And that's going to be a win. I don't think he had any more Pokemon. Doesn't really give you the opportunity to see that too often. More experience. Nice, a level up for Rookity and for Dot and for Wooloo. Whoa, whoa, okay. Flame Charge, absolutely learn Flame Charge. Cloaking itself in flame, the user attacks the target, then building up power, the user raises its speed stat. Okay. Interesting, so that seems like it could be good. I don't think I need Growl, so I think I'm gonna put it over that. Thank you. One, two, and ta-da! Da forgot Growl, learn Flame Charge instead, and Wooloo grew, grew level 15, and we defeated Schoolboy Peter. I'm weak to people older than me. I mean, that's sort of natural. You'll get there, you'll age, and you'll improve along with it. Try switching Pokemon when you've got a bad matchup in battle. I did that right in front of you. Okay, so I'm just trying to be careful. Oh, did we actually reach the end? You found a super potion, and we also got to the Galar Mine. Interesting, so this is the Galar Mine. I think this is where we're going to enter next episode. Hiya, me and my little sister have set ourselves up as a Papa Pokemon Center service. Now that we asked, not that we asked anyone if we could or should, Galar Mine is pretty rough on the team, isn't it? I'll heal up, heal up your Pokemon for you, friend. Well, thank you very much. That leaves us at a perfect opportunity to finish off our episode here. I had a ton of fun, of course, getting started. Oh, hold on. I found two X defenses, an item that sharply boosts the defense stat of a Pokemon during battle. It wears off once the Pokemon is withdrawn. But yeah, I had so much fun with this. Hopefully you guys did too. We joined the league for Pokemon and hopefully we can reach our first gym battle next episode. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Pokemon Sword and Shield. Before you go, be sure to comment Zebra Camping so now you've watched the end of your A Zebra-tastic viewer. Also, subscribe to join the Zebra Herd. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.